to my channel. Today is a holiday DIYs video and I am showing you guys iron on baby PJs. They're so cute, but I am really showing you guys how to layer um, iron on onto fabrics and things like that. So even though we're making baby PJs, I'm teaching you guys a Cricut tutorial. If you don't know what a Cricut is and you don't know what they do, then check out the playlists and all the stuff on my channel because I explain like everything, literally like everything about the Cricut. I explain it for you guys and I'm always explaining more. So if you want to know more about it or whatever, there's links and there's coupon codes and there's the best deals and all that good stuff in the description box. So check that out or check out my channel and let's get going with these adorable PJs that I made for my nephew and my niece and all that good stuff. And I didn't get shots of my niece in it because I got her 18 months clothes and she's like four months. So next year you can see pictures of her in those, but my nephew is adorable. So let's get going. All right, so I started with some blank PJs. I got these at Old Navy. They were super cute and they were on sale, so that's always fun. Then I cut out my little piece is of all of the stuff that I wanted to iron on. So today we're gonna be focusing on layering our iron on. So the front, I just started with the Noel with the um, deer and then used my Easy Press, set it to the temperature that it's supposed to be set to, and then pushed firmly down and let it count down. And that's all you've gotta do. And it's perfect because it already knows exactly how long it's supposed to be for each thing. And then for the little layered guy in the back, we're gonna do our easy press again, but you're just gonna start with the bottom layer. This design is available to my patrons all ready to go. However, this is just some access images that we put together that you guys can do as well. So do one layer at a time and then you go in and you do the rest of the layers. So make sure each piece cools and then you peel off the plastic. And then I went in with the next layer, which is just his tummy and his little ears. And then I did his hat and I actually did his hat and his scarf at the same time because the plastic didn't overlap. And I also decided if I could do his shoes at the same time or his hooves and it did. Although I made sure that there was no plastic going underneath any of the actual iron on itself because you want it to actually iron on right to the fabric. You don't want it to iron on over any plastic pieces. So I did that as one set and then I was able to peel all that plastic off. And that was actually three different pieces all at once. And then I'm just gonna do his little face and then he'll be done. 